gain, gain honey, are you listening? Who are you? Who's she? What? I'm Bruce, your husband. And you're my wife, Jean. I'm Kyra. I'm not Jean. I'm not even married. Are you okay? What happened, Jean? I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. This dream started again. What? What started again? I should have. What are you saying? I should have told you about this before. What, Jane? Are you fine? Kiara, why did you buy so much for yourself? I didn't buy anything for me. I thought you bought it for me. Kiara, don't lie. You're lying. Why would I lie? I don't remember anything. You know what, Kiara? There's something wrong with you. I'm getting everything back to the store, then we are going to see Dr. Pera right now. I mean right now. Mind Gara. Why is she crying? You, you almost killed her. Why would I do that? You fine? Hello, doctor. No, Kara's here. Doctor Pereira. Hello. Please have a seat. Yes. Tell me, what gets you here? Doctor, she's been acting crazy and she forgets things all the time. And I feel like I don't even know her anymore. And to top it all, she almost, almost killed her daughter a few days back. I didn't do that. Doctor, doctor, she's lying. Why don't you give us some time? Please wait outside. She's all going to lie. She's please, all going to please, lie, doctor. I'm wait telling outside. you. So what gets you here? You didn't answer my question, Mrs. Stewart. It's not true. What's not true? I did shot. I didn't kill my daughter. That's what I'm trying to say. Then why do you think we say things like that if they're not true? I don't know. But he's got to have a reason for it. Maybe. So what do you think it could be? Maybe he wants to take away my daughter from me. You mean a divorce? Maybe. He wants to make me believe that he loses my mind. Am I losing my mind? Doesn't look like that to me. But you're not sure. Well, you see, I cannot say anything at this moment. Just because you're suffering from amnesia doesn't mean that you're losing your mind. But you don't want to tell me. And I know it. How do you know it? Because I can hear some voices now. Voices? What kind of voices? Like someone is talking to me. For how long has this been happening? For months. Why didn't you tell me this before? 
What does this voice tell you to do? She tells me to do things. A woman's voice. Hmm. Do you recognize it anyway? Not really. But it sounds familiar sometimes. What does this voice tell you to do? She tells me to do things. Like leave now. Take money and run away. Such terrible things. Sometimes it sounds like my own voice. Your own voice doesn't make any difference. Yes, it does. It does. I know you don't want to tell me. But it does. Kiara? Kiara? Hi. Feeling better now? I feel fine. What was it? A headache? I don't have any headache. She has. She? Yes. Hey, you got a nice place. Oh, she has headaches sometimes. But I want to come out. Who are you talking about? Are you trying to kid me? Seems like you're trying to kid me. <laughs> I'm talking about Kiara. So you're not Kiara? Kyra. You know that. So you made a name. No. That's still my name. I never got married. You mean to say Noah isn't your husband? No. And then Hazel isn't your daughter? No. Do you think I'd marry a jerk like that? <laughs> if you are Kyra, then how do you know Hazel and Noah? Oh, well, I know everything about her. It's just that she doesn't know about me. Oh, you got a radio. Ah, that's a nice song. Calm down. The next few weeks, I was in the asylum. It was the worst time of my life. For a week, it was fine. And then they met Dr. Pereira. So how's your marriage going? It's going fine. A part of me is happy. I don't know how to fix it. No matter what I do, a part of me just wants to run away. I'm a doctor. This won't work with me. 
It works with everyone else. You better stop this. Stop this. Or I'll have to send you back to the asylum. And this time, with bars. <laughs> you can't. You can't put me behind the bars. If I put Kiara behind the bars, you go with her. There's no way we can part the two of you. You can't do that. Did I tell you? I think it's time we enlighten Kiara about you. You can't do that. What if she goes insane? That's a risk I'll have to take. May I come in? Yes, yes, please, please come in. Come in, Mrs. Stewart. Please take a seat. So how are you feeling today? You called me for something? Yes. Well, Mrs. Stewart, after the previous seating that we had, I have come to a conclusion that you have a very unusual disorder called multiple personality disorder. Am I insane? Well, it's just a disorder where you have two distinct personalities. Here in your case, it's Kyra and Kiara. Nothing to be scared of. Now we are going to try hypnosis. Just stay calm and follow everything that I say. Look straight into my eyes. Very calm, very relaxed, very, very relaxed, relax yourself, you're falling asleep, you're feeling sleepy, and sleepy, and sleepy. I was fine. Passed away. Who passed away? My grandmother. And then? She was very close to me after my parents died in a car accident. What else? After that, she also left me out. Like everyone else did. Mm -hmm. What happened next? My family believed in kissing the close ones, once they're dead, as a sign of goodbye. Then I started hearing voices. Voices would tell me to go too. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I calm down, didn't Kiara. do it. Calm down. Just calm down. Just calm down. Look here. Nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing to be scared of. Just give me a minute. I'll ask your husband to come inside. Noah, please come in. What's the matter, doctor? Nothing to worry about. Your wife has this problem called multiple personality disorder. I don't believe you. How about I show you? Okay. So can I speak with Kyra? Hey, yeah, doc. How come you remember me? And what's this jerk doing here? <laughs> now can I speak with Kiara? What's happening here? I'm scared. My head hurts. I'm scared. Don't worry. Just calm down. Just calm down. 
Look here. Well, you see, nothing much to worry about. You can take your wife home. Take proper care of her and ensure that she comes and sees you after 20 days. After that, I was released from the asylum. Because both of my personalities were harmless. Until that day. Where were you last night, Kiran? What do you mean by this? Kiara, don't lie to me. I'm not lying. Kiara, last night, when I woke up, you were not there. And even our neighbors saw you going out. I don't remember all of this. I think we should leave, Kiara. We really need to leave from here. It's high time, Kiara. Everyone is talking about you. Everyone. Please pack your bags. We leave today. I need to ask doctor first. Excuse me? Now that doctor is more important than me. I didn't mean this. I know exactly what it means. You're taking me wrong. All right. It's better now that we should just part away. I'm done with you. And I don't trust you anymore. Don't do this. Noah, I don't have anyone besides you. Noah? Noah? Noah, listen to me. Don't go. Please, listen to me, Noah. Please, don't go. I'm Bruce. I've been sitting here for a while and uh, I just can't seem to take my eyes off you. Thank you. That was really nice of you. So, what's your lovely name? planning to divorce me, doctor. I need your help. Please help me, doctor. Stop crying. Stop crying. Just relax. Take this. Stop crying. Please calm down. Just calm down. We'll try hypnosis. Look straight into my eyes.
So now, can I speak with Kiara? Can I speak with Kyra? Neither Kiara nor Kyra exist in me. Then who are you? I'm Jane. So did you know about Kyra and Kiara? Yes, I did know them. But they didn't exist in me anymore. I didn't mean to do this. Have some water. This thing was born. And because of my past, I was afraid. That you would also leave me alone like everyone else. I'm never going to leave you, Jane. I'm there for you. Always. Always. Every person who has lived long enough has something in their past that must be forgotten. A moment they failed or simply went right instead of left. That simple choice changed their life for worse. So we cover up and forget. But deep down, we know it will come back to haunt us.